everybody, I wanted to show you the moon setting. I'm looking towards the west. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? Beautiful. Well, that's something I don't ever see. Let me see what this sign says. I can't read it. Huh. In the middle of nowhere. Wow, it's a big group. What? <laughs> Dang! <laughs> that kicked me off of YouTube for that! <laughs> Alright, I appreciate it. Smile, everybody. Hold on, I gotta back up a little bit. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, look at that shirt. <laughs> what shirt? I don't know. My real body. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if this don't get a million views, I don't know what will. <laughs> Come on, money. <laughs> wow, he's going over some details. He said there's a couple people missing. <laughs> he said ain't ain't nobody trying to leave on time. And he said everybody's got to get tight, get tighter. You know, it's just, yeah, it's, it's like herding cats. You gotta love it. All right, people. This says if you serve two masters, you will always be half heart H hearted. Half hearted. Well, right off the bat, I'm confused. Um, Half-hearted. You know, they said the heart was on a little bit on the left side, and then now they're saying it's in the center of your chest. Go check your medical books if you grew up like me, and uh, you put your hand over your heart like that. Now they're having to put their hand over their heart like, like I don't know if you can see, like... What is, it's like your heart's right here. Ain't over here no more. Ain't over here no more. All right, that's half-hearted. Because somebody moved it, damn it, and I didn't give them permission. So who moved it? Is it the masters of the universe that are playing with the Mandela effect, the CERN effect? What is masters? What does the Bible talk about serve two masters well as far as I know I don't serve no masters I don't put nobody in authority over my thinking anymore hell no been there done that didn't like it and uh, bought t-shirts to prove it it don't work the religious system wants to be your master and they don't want you to have another master if you do they ain't gonna like you they're gonna get mad at you here comes a bike rider hey bike rider hey you doing all right doing all right good i'm trying to figure out what the sign says about two masters and you will always be half-hearted always be half-hearted well i think what they're trying to say is just serve God with all your heart. Just serve God with all your heart? Because if you serve two, you're messing up. Well, you're just doing both half-assed. Yeah. I think that's what they're saying. Yeah. But 
I'm no spiritualist, so, uh, you know. I'm confused as this. <laughs> I, I'm always, with, with some of these signs, I'm always confused. But um, like I was just saying to the camera, this is video, by the way. Uh. <laughs> like I was saying to the camera is, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't serve two masters. Yeah. I don't serve one master. I don't serve what they call God. Uh -huh. The religious world says he looks like a man sitting on a cloud with a beard. Yeah. That kind of scares me. He looks like me. That's right. And I know, I know. So you're a narcissist. You serve yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, the ego wants us to kill ourselves. Yeah. The ego is what is, is the biggest detriment to mankind. Yeah. But now you can work the ego in your favor once you know who you are. But until you know who you are, you don't even understand the ego. But isn't that the meaning of life really is to know who you are? And where you come from. Well, I mean. Well, you, well yeah. who you are is really important because where you come from is God. Yeah. And Jesus said that we were gods. And he meant it. He said, greater things will ye do than I do. Go and walk in it. What he was talking about is peace. Heaven on earth. Yep. The church tells us we got to die and take this physical form and our body and our name and our story and a fishing pole and go to heaven. Yep. I'm sorry. Yep. There ain't no place called heaven that you can take physicality to. It even tells you in the scriptures that <laughs> flesh and blood won't inherit the kingdom. Yep. The kingdom of God is now when we got peace within our mind, our heart, and our we got balance, yep. like like a type of a hey, bike rider, <laughs> like a type of balance. And see, right now, left brain, right brain, gets so confused when it's talking about a master because the church wants everybody to question only their sermons, and don't even want you to question them. They just want you to be subservient and worship God. God don't need us to worship. He knows who we are. We, we don't know who we are. Yep, I hear you. Dude, you gotta go. I gotta catch that guy. Go, man, go. All righty. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Hey, I like that bike. <laughs> Thank you. Dang. I like his shirt. <laughs> I like your <them> socks. <laughs> I like everything about that guy. <laughs> He's cool. Okay. He got to catch that guy. I hope he gets him. Sometimes people get so far ahead of you, you can't catch him. He'll blow a gasket. All right. Enough said about this. This video done got a little bit long, long-winded. But I think a lot of y'all understand that I don't understand these signs. But what I do understand is that we need to all come together and not under no religious system of man but come together in a thing of love and unity and a purpose of consciousness to awaken and arise within a body of Christ conscious beings that can actually literally get about fixing problems. Because if we keep waiting on the church to fix problems and government to fix problems, we're going to be screwed, people, because that's what we've been, screwed. The only way to fix all of this is we don't need no stinking politicians. We need technicians. We don't need no religious leaders. We need actually teachers and people that can actually agree and walk together in unity. Have you seen how many churches are in Springfield and Ozark? It's hundreds. Look in the yellow pages if you even remember what that is. It's a book that's got numbers and yellow pages and just flip over to church and start counting because it's hundreds. And that little town I come from, Greenville, Greenville, Mississippi, I counted the churches. It was a hundred. They has to be more than that in Springfield. I'm telling you, something ain't right. Well, James River has one big church, but I see a lot of sick people when I go by there and see the congregation. I'm not saying they've done anything wrong, but I'm... Um, I'm saying they're not doing anything to teach truth. We need to be taught truth. We need to be taught how to heal our body. Exercise, yoga, stretching the mind and stretching the physical body. And eating right. Churches, they, they don't want... Hey, bike rider! They don't want to teach us that. I think I know that man.
All right, I'm going to leave it with you.